I'm Matt Bichard here in Dallas for NARIT's REIT World 2017. Joining me today is Sam Landy, the President and CEO of UMH Properties. Sam, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Now, the last time we spoke, you indicated that UMH was planning on pulling back from the acquisitions market. Has anything changed in the market to change your thinking there? Acquisitions are uh, extremely difficult. Uh, immediately after leaving you, after the last interview, somebody offered us the largest acquisition anybody offered us. So it's very difficult uh, to predict what will be available. UMH's game plan is to increase FFO per share 10% per year for the next five years. And we'll do any acquisition that helps us with that plan. We've built an incredible platform over the past 50 years. We have access to low cost capital. And if there's an acquisition available that meets our criteria, we should have the ability to do it. And what about the sales of uh, manufactured housing? How are the company's efforts there going? Our internal sales efforts, which uh, include marketing, setting up homes uh, in inventory, uh, that's working very well. Sales for the three quarters are up 22 percent. Um, but there's still on the legislative room room to truly increase sales. Uh, there's three books about the subject, Jim Clayton's First to Dream, uh, Peter Wallison's book, Hidden in Plain View, and Sam Zell's book. And they all cover the history of the industry. And really, uh, the ability of manufactured housing to solve the national affordable housing crisis is, is sort of forgotten due to government housing policy that distorted people's housing decisions. Now, if we talk at REIT World 2018, year from now, what will have been the big story for UMH? Uh, that we, in fact, uh, meet uh, our expectations, that we are able uh, to increase the FFO 10% by adding our 800 rental units, uh, increasing rents 4%, and, and we recast the 100 million in preferred from eight and a quarter to 6.75 percent. And all of these things coming together should have our FFO a year from now exceeding the dividend. And lastly, you know, we, we've talked in the past and, you know, about the strong demand for residential housing over the last decade, including manufactured housing. Does, does that still leave more room to run? Uh, you, you hear people concerned that maybe, you know, that, that, that may switch back. U UMH's sector is the affordable rental housing, and we provide a three-bedroom, two-bath house for $750 a month. And because we use a factory-built home in, in a community that we purchased at the right price, uh, we have the ability to, to offer this. And so in any market we, we're in, we're the most competitive housing. We're maintaining 94% rental home occupancy, and uh, it's because of a great product at a great price. And I don't see demand for uh, our product at that price uh, being reduced. I see it growing. Sam, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. For more from REIT World 2017, be sure to visit NARIT's website, REIT.com.